Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 2017 Makeup and Hairstylist Guild Awards. Likewise. I have to say, I was a big 90210 fan. You have got to get that every single day of your life. Back in the days when I had hair, actually, yeah. <laughs> you look great. It doesn't matter. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Do you get that every single day of your life? Uh, not every single day of my life, but it does happen. People walk up and go, Aren't, were you? My parents used to watch you. Parents, it's oh god, it makes us old, doesn't it? Generation after you know, generation. You were probably a kid when you were watching it. Uh, I loved it. Summer episodes, like that really got me into right. it and forget it. And a great, we just had dinner as a, as a group, uh, most of us anyway, at Gabrielle's house, and, and it was so nice to get together with those guys. I hadn't seen some in probably over 10 years. And, and they all look amazing. They're, they're, I don't know what they eat, but they're looking great. <laughs> And she's doing a wonderful job as president of sag after I, I'm probably the biggest Gabrielle Carteris fan on the planet, uh, and so I'm biased in that respect. But she is just, she's extraordinary, and she's done an amazing job with the union at a time when there are a lot of changes going on. And she's at, you know, during her tenure, there's, there's been just an extraordinary amount of um, positive changes, and especially given the current political environment and the argument right to work states, et cetera, to have a strong union leader like Gab is, is it's invaluable to us as, as union members and so yeah I'm, I'm a member too so I, I, I appreciate her I appreciate her work oh, and, and, um, talk about tonight you know for an actor it's so important hair and makeup it's everything for well, your character apparently it's very important for me and, and it's funny because I, I, I would uh, not until when I was my first real job job like a big job and I got to know them really well and, and uh, a good friend of mine who had been working on TV for a while So the first people you want to make friends with are the DP and hair and makeup and keep them on your side because those are the ones that are going to make you look good no matter how hard a scene is, how bad a scene is, or how bad you are, you're going to look good. And it, it's absolute, 30 years later, it's absolutely right. 25, 23 years later. <laughs> Whatever it is, a couple decades, it's all good. Right, let, me, let me do the math there real quick. Okay, uh, finally, what's the best hair and makeup tip you've ever gotten? Um, don't lose it? No. I don't, don't uh, your uh, hair, you look great. No, I don't. I, I don't take. I don't require a lot of makeup generally because my my I'm a darker complected, so it's not a, an issue with lighting so much. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a tip. That, uh, sunscreen. Don't sweat. Yeah. Don't don't sweat. Don't. You sunscreen. Hydrate. <laughs> hydrate. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> hydrate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. fantastic. Good seeing you. Have a great time tonight. Kristen. Kristen. Or Kristen. Kristen. You got it. Pleasure. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your best makeup tip is.